Jefferson lived in the 1900s and it was hard. He was taken away from his family and sent to war. All around him, blood and chaos and screams. Throughout his entire time in the war, he kept one purpose in mind. Come back home to his family. Jefferson fought bravely amongst his brothers in arms and eventually he returned back home. Now in times of prosperity and safety, Jefferson was able to level up in his career and provide for his family. He always had a major mission to focus on. What about Jefferson's great grandson, Jeffrey? Jeffrey has no mission, Jeffrey has no purpose. What happens to a man who has no purpose? He does the bare minimum that's required of him and then he spends the rest of his time overindulging in pleasure. Jeffrey's no stranger to watching porn and playing video games. And it's interesting, the video games that Jeffrey plays emulates what his great grandfather went through. Jeffrey plays Call of Duty and League of Legends and he gets a sense of accomplishment. Adonis. Adonis understands that a man's purpose, a man's why, is the major fuel inside of his stomach to commit to action. His parents instilled a purpose into Adonis when he was young, to get ready for and to conquer the rite of passage of his tribe. That filled Adonis' mind with hopes and dreams. It gave him the drive to be productive because he had a challenge to look forward to. As a man, Adonis' purpose has now changed. His purpose is to lead his tribe to victory, to protect and provide for his family. He lives a life that all men aspire to. You and I live in the best, most safest, most prosperous era of mankind. This is the best time ever. So why are we so unhappy? Why are most young people depressed and anxious? Why is suicide one of the major causes of death? I think it may be because of a lack of meaning, fulfillment and purpose in our lives. You already have your life trajectory set out for you. Good grades, good degree, good job, and then die. You were told by everyone that the good degree and the good job would make you an attractive man, that then you'd be able to find a wife and have children, but you might not believe that anymore. Chances are you're a young man and you're aged around 20. Now picture this in your mind. See your entire bloodline, see all of your ancestors before you. All of those 20 year old men had children. We are the first generation of men who have no purpose. We have no real reason to do anything. The world we live in is so safe and comfortable and that sounds like a good thing but as men we actually grow from discomfort. As a young man you grow through conquering challenges but there's no one sending you challenges anymore and there's especially no one sending you challenges that you think are worthwhile. So you may have asked yourself that question, what should I do with my life? And the weird answer is anything. You can pretty much do anything that you want. You have the skills and the ability and the privilege to go and learn about any skill that you want. You could pursue any career. That overwhelms us. When you can do anything, when you have so many options, it's like your brain shuts down and it doesn't know how to go forward. Think about how weird this is that the majority of young people go through an existential crisis. Like that's normal these days. It's normal for young people when they're transitioning from their education system to their work life to go through some kind of existential crisis where they feel so depressed and nihilistic. That's normal in today's world. Every generation of men had a set purpose for themselves. You were going to take over your father's farm. You were going to become a blacksmith just like your father. You were going to serve in the war. Now of course it's a good thing that we are physically safe. But what about our spiritual lives? What about our mental health? Those are now totally and utterly up to your responsibility. If you can take just one piece of advice from me, let it be this. Prioritize your mental health above all else. It's with great mental health that you can be productive, that you can study for longer hours, that you will get higher grades. It's with great mental health that you can cultivate beautiful relationships that you won't act so weird next to women. It's with great mental health that you'll literally just feel happier and you'll enjoy life more. In the modern day, we focus entirely on our external lives, like what kind of work we can do and how we look. We've overlooked how we feel inside. So how do you find your purpose and what does purpose even mean anyway? Your purpose is your why. It's the reasoning behind your major mission in life. My major mission is to make men more like Adonis and my purpose, the why behind that is because I I have lived that down bad lifestyle. I have been addicted to video games and porn and drugs and I want to help other men who are going through what I was going through because now I have like a level of knowledge that could help you. What's your why? You need to have a great drive behind your actions. He who has a why to live for can bear almost any how. Life is not primary, life is not primary, a life is not pro- Bruh. Ah, f <laughs> Life is not a quest for pleasure or a quest for power, but a quest for meaning. Ask yourself right now, what is the meaning for your life? And the easiest way to discover this and to answer this for yourself is to start thinking about what you can do for other people. The best things in life are always related to your contribution to the people that you care about.
Be introspective, take some time to think what is the meaning, the purpose of your life, and then dedicate every waking hour to that purpose. Share this video to a Jeffrey friend who needs it. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it.